Yo como guys, this is Zortek here. Welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be doing another tutorial for you guys and it's going to be on how to record with GeForce Experience in 2020 or even after that if you guys stumble upon this after that year. So in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to record with GeForce Experience and show you guys the best settings but I am also going to keep it as simple for you guys as possible but at the same time I want to keep it detailed and have information in it at the same time. In the past I actually covered a lot of PC screen recorders but by far Nvidia's GeForce Experience is one of the simplest PC recorders out there and it does a very good job. I know some of you guys call it Nvidia Shadowplay, however it's not really known for that name anymore. In this video we're just gonna call it Nvidia GeForce Experience. Just before we get into this video, if any of you guys find this video helpful then please do drop a like in this video and comment down below your feedback and questions below this video because this will actually help the video go out to the right people who really need them and you will do the community a big favor by doing so. So other than that let's get straight to the video. So what you guys want to do is go on the GeForce Experience download page and just click on download. And then you guys can see it's downloading for me right now and then you just want to run it when it's downloaded. So you can see it's loaded. And then it's just gonna bring you this, you know, privacy policy thing, whatever. You don't really have to read it, just agree and install. And you know it's gonna say installing so you just need to install and then once you guys installed it then once you launch it it's gonna ask you to log in so if you have an account just log in but you guys most likely need to create an account so just do that if you want to and once you logged in then it's gonna ask you for the privacy settings I'm just gonna click on continue as it's gonna save some time but you know it's it's pretty simple and so once you guys come here you guys gonna be asked if you want to optimize your games you guys can but I'm just gonna skip it and then once you guys done that you guys want to click on settings and this is actually the specs of your PC and this is actually important because for the in-game overlay it's gonna need these you know minimum requirements otherwise you won't be able to record with GeForce experience and this is actually the in-game overlay you want to make sure it's actually enabled so you guys can see it's green right now and you can go in the settings and you know it's gonna show you these settings over here what you guys want to do is go and hit you the layout and it's gonna show you if you wanna use the hey, hey U, U, D layout you know you guys want this to show up or not like the frame rate or the viewers or something like that that's totally up to you guys but for the video I'm not gonna do that as I don't want any overlays in my videos so once you guys done that you guys wanna go in recordings so once you guys gone on recordings it's gonna ask you for you know temporary files and you know videos so you guys can Put your temporary files at that directory but this is actually the place where the video is actually going to be like recorded and saved so you guys can change that if you like but I'm just gonna keep it at the same place so at privacy control you guys want to make sure you enable desktop capture especially if you want to capture your desktop and then you guys gonna you know get this main menu over here you guys can do a screenshot you guys can do a photo mode and a game filter. You, if you guys want to get this showing up, you want to press Alt plus Z to get this menu showing up. So you guys want to go under record settings and you guys can get instant replay on this as well. The cool thing about instant replay is just, let's say you have a cool moment and all that and you didn't record. You, with instant replay, you, it's pretty much like you recorded without even recording. You know what I mean? So for the resolution just adjust it to whatever the game resolution is or the monitor resolution and then just adjust it to what frame rate you want and um, bitrate. I would suggest if you want a high quality gameplay then you want to do it to the max like 50 megabytes per second. But you guys can do 30 FPS or 60 FPS. I, I preferably want 60 but if your game caps at 30 then do a 30. But you know once you guys done that, done that then you just want to start recording. So the recording has started like it says on the 
top right and I'm just gonna move this icon around just as an, as an example so you guys can see I actually just moved the icon around and I'm gonna run dead or alive 6 so the, you can see the splasher screen is showing up and yeah the game is you know running as usual I'm just showing you guys an example of what a gameplay would look like so just bear with me okay so I'm just gonna click go on a versus battle and just give you guys an example of what it would look like so yeah you guys can see so okay so you guys can see I'm about to start a game so it's just loading so once you guys got it to the gameplay you guys can see that you know I'm actually playing the game and I'm recording same time please note in mind that you might notice some stuttering and the reason is because I got two recorders running at the same time making this tutorial but normally you would just have one recorder which is Nvidia shadow play so you wouldn't really get any lags but you guys can see it's doing pretty good over here so yeah you guys and yeah once you guys want to stop recording you just want to press alt and z it's alt plus z and it's gonna get you to this menu over here and then you want to go and record and click on stop and save so what this is gonna do is save your recording and then you want to go on gallery and then go on open file location and this is where it's going to have your gameplay recorded so mine's on desktop but yours might be completely different depending on where you did it on the settings but you guys can see like this is the example right over here so I'm just you know fast forwarding it going back you know that's why it's looking like that but you can see this is the part where I was going random and this is the gameplay while I was you know playing so this is you know it's not looking so bad at all to be honest so yeah I mean like let me know what you guys think give me your feedback in the comment below anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please share this video to your friends and family as you know some of them might need this video as well and it actually would help this video go out to the right people so yeah you guys anyways i hope you guys have a good one and check out my other videos as i do a lot of videos like this but i do like fun videos as well gaming videos and i do like tech tutorial videos sometimes and uh, so much more i sometimes even do trolling videos but other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video and I hope you guys have a yoga malicious day. Zortec signing out. Peace.